and welcome to today's quick tip. We're going to learn how to blur a waterfall in three easy steps. Taking your waterfall images from frozen stiff water to beautiful soft dreamy landscapes. Step one, choosing your camera mode. If you're using a point and shoot camera, you might find the camera mode in the menu. If you're using a DSLR, it might have a mode dial right on top. For a Nikon camera, rotate the dial to S, which stands for Shutter Speed Priority. For a Canon camera, rotate the dial to TV for Time Value Mode. This mode will allow you to manually change the length of time your shutter is open, also known as Shutter Speed. Step 2. Setting your shutter speed. Now that we're in shutter speed or time value mode, rotating your main dial will change your shutter speed. Scroll the dial until you see numbers with a quotation mark to the right. The quotation mark indicates full seconds. For waterfalls, I like to start between 1 and 2 seconds of exposure. This allows for lots of movement in the water, creating that beautiful motion blur. Thankfully, with our instant feedback on digital cameras, you can check to see if you're getting the look that you want. If you prefer less motion with a little more detail, close down your shutter to a faster speed. Try one-fourth or half of a second. If you prefer more motion, open up your shutter with a longer shutter speed. You can increase it to three seconds or more. The speed of the waterfall will play a role in how fast the water is moving and will vary from one waterfall to another, and also from one season to another. But a 1-2 to two second exposure is a great place to start. Long shutter speeds come with their own set of challenges, which brings us to Step 3. Using a tripod. You may ask yourself, when do I need a tripod? Is it really necessary? Well, for capturing sharp images with motion blur, the general rule states you need a tripod when your shutter speed is slower than 1 over the focal length of the lens. For example, if you've zoomed out to 60 millimeters on your lens, then an average person should be able to handhold the camera up to 1 60th of a second. If you zoom in to 200 millimeters, you should be able to handhold 1 200th of a second. With any speed slower than this, you should use a tripod to ensure the sharpest images. With these three simple steps, you'll be able to turn ordinary images into stunning works of art. Thanks so much for watching. As always, have fun exploring and capturing your world.